Here at Team 1, we are attempting to extend the bounds of interactivity in a side-scrolling game by prototyping a new lightning gun that interacts with the environment around it. In our prototype, the player is tasked with challenging puzzles where they must run, jump, and aim accurately, all while trying to avoid deadly obstacles. In this first section, we're focusing mostly on zapping control panels to open doors and to activate elevators. As you can see, it's a pretty impressive background there. We've got collectibles, which are also in every single one of our sections. This is the first of seven sections that we have available. And our tester there did an awesome job jumping straight up to that difficult to nab collectible. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and we have warp stations at the end of every section that take you to the next one. In this second section, we have um, some, some rather simple moving platforms that move right back and forth there. It's got a nice collectible there. We also added in uh, near the end of our prototyping phase a lot of audio and video cues to enhance the visuals, give some extra feedback to the players. That worked out really well. In this section, we have some more complicated, advanced moving platforms that move in arcs and don't always go right up next to the platforms that you need to stand on. Right there, you can see there's a little difficulty even for us with all the testing we've done to get through, but luckily we have a checkpoint system built in, so it saves it all right there at the beginning of the section. So you can redo everything rel relatively quickly. Our zap gun has nice little range to it there. Helps the player get those hard to reach far away control panels. Keep things moving forward. That was a nice move. Alright, in this section, we actually have uh, a new mechanic of a, a zap ball, and this allows the player to um, advance through the section. There's actually a lock on the door, and in order to open that door, you need to get the zap ball all the way to the end and locked into the end point position. If the player stops zapping the ball, you can see that it automatically rewinds and reverses the direction it's headed. So the player really has to master jump, the platform jumping while also keeping track of where that ball is and how they're aiming the zapping gun in order to advance through the level. Our tester here is having a little bit of difficulty. I played through it a little faster myself. <laughs> I really like this one. But it doesn't matter about speed. Here it's all about getting to the end getting all those collectibles. And there are some tips and tricks you learn through playing playing our, our level uh, that you can actually lock that ball into place like I was talking about earlier. It lets you come back and pick up harder to reach collectibles. Like the one to the far right that our tester is going for right now. And you can move on. In this section, we have a nice cinematic and um, introduces changes to the level, sets up um, our jumping puzzles here. Nice, cool, multi dimensional background there, and some pretty simple elevator platforms. Take a few moments to charge up before they move. We did have some plans to add in some more interactive elements to this section that unfortunately we ran out of time for. There were going to be tentacles that would pop up out of the toxic waste and move around trying to attack the player and the player would zap them. But uh, prototypes are supposed to be quick, test the mechanics we were going for, and we were able to test in seven different unique uh, sections a lot of different mechanics, so that one didn't make it for this one. That's alright. In this one, uh, this section, we have a nice animated background there. It's pretty cool. We also have a new mechanic of these um, 
locking doors over there. You can see the four doors to the right that are locked, and you can see on the edges of the wall there are a couple of charge panels that are red. And as the player zaps them, they go to yellow and then to a bright green color, and the doors pop open. So the player has to discover the exact order in which these uh, charge panels need to be zapped in order to pass the level. Luckily, we've done a decent amount of testing on this already. We're, we're pretty much experts at this, so we can move right on through. Quickly. Now, here in our final section, we have um, some more advanced platform elements with these tilting platforms. The player zaps them and they'll drop into one position or another. These are also toggleable platforms, so they can be zapped repeatedly to switch into different types of positions. Our tester here is doing a fine job navigating the, the jungle there. The jungle of tilting platforms. <laughs> and he only has one collectible left to nab, and there it is. Um, overall, we're really happy with the way our prototype turned out, and thank you for watching.